Hello and welcome to another edition of Scottish Student Sports Bite Size Best Practice Webinar. To catch up with any of our previous webinars, simply go to the Triple S website or check out our YouTube channel. This latest edition highlights some of the great work happening within the college sector. We recently brought you the exciting news that Fife College had achieved training towards in the College Sport Award framework. This webinar looks at the journey the college has been on so far, highlighting the importance of involving a diverse selection of staff, the impact of partnerships, some of the challenges they've faced and the opportunities that lie ahead. We're delighted to be joined by two members of staff from Fife College, Kirsten Mullen, Sports Societies and Events Coordinator, and Jade Burnett, President of Welfare and Equality, to talk us through their journey so far. Hi, we are from Fife College and um, my name's Kirsten, so I'm the Sports Societies and Events Coordinator at the Fife College Students Association. So I started my job at the end of August, September time, and so I've been in the role for about six months now. Obviously things are slightly different at the moment with the coronavirus, but I've been working alongside Jade to try and promote sport throughout the college. <laughs> Thanks, Kirsten. Um, I'm Jade. I'm the president of Welfare and Equality for Fife College Students Association. Um, so I look after a multitude of different things um, and kind of physical health and well-being is one of those. So that's where the kind of sports and events tie in with that as well. Thanks. Okay, so um, previously, before Kirsten started um, her job with us at the Students Association, um, we'd offered kind of various different taster sessions, but there was always minimal uptake. Um, Gloria, our um, student engagement coordinator, um, carried out loads of different surveys, um, and she was really keen to keep trying to get these taster sessions running whenever we had events um, throughout all of our different, the Students Association does events throughout the year. So um, we tried to do that, but unfortunately with kind of no dedicated sports staff member, extracurricular activities at the college just didn't really kind of gain much momentum um, and before Kirsten started we had no established sports clubs and um, other than sports departments with what they were doing but nothing um, from the college as a whole um, and we didn't have any representation at any kind of triple s events or any other kind of sport events either Okay, so Fife College signed up to the College Sport Awards um, last February in 2019. So this picture here is our President Carol Hunter and Principal Hugh Hall. So they're signing the pledge along with some members of, there's Gloria, sorry, the Student Engagement Coordinator, and then other members of staff at the college and Scottish Student Sport. So, um, yeah, so the college basically decided to sign up to the work because it provided us with a framework that we could work towards and then basically achieve our goals of improving health and well-being and physical activity at the college. And we've got a quote from the principal here that says, we are therefore delighted to sign the College Sport Awards, which will help us provide excellent physical activity and sport opportunities for our students. We look forward to working closely with Scottish Student Sport to promote physical activity and sport across the college. So for us, it's been really good to have the principal on board because it's a benefit for us and that support there allows us to develop it, knowing that he will always have our back and want what's best for the students. So that's been great for both myself and Jade in order to develop support here. Um, I'll just get the framework up. So basically award is split into four different stages. So we achieved the working towards stage a few months ago, was it now? And yeah. the good thing about this is it's really easy to follow. So each stage is split up into like commitment, uh, achievement. So you can work through these stages and then basically tick it off. So for a college like us, when we didn't really have much support in place before, it was a really good thing to follow so that we knew where we were at. And then once you achieve each stage, you then get an award. So we were rewarded with the £500 prize. So we got some a botcha set for the college and like badminton equipment, which we can now use to develop our sport clubs. So it's been a really easy like process to follow once if everyone's on board. So why did we sign up to the College Sport Award here at Fife College? 
we saw it as a great opportunity to promote physical activity and sport across the college. So this picture here is our new Barrington eh, basketball club with our mascot, Charlie, which is our unicorn we put on our t-shirts. <laughs> so this has been great having a basketball team now, eh, which is something that when I first started the job, I wouldn't have really even imagined to have so soon. So it's just developed so many opportunities for the students and they love it. It's like a sense of community and they've been involved in the Scottish Student Sport Ladders competitions, which has been a framework where we kind of work with other colleges in the region to set competitions aside. So we've had a few games with Perth College and it's just been a different experience for the students that they never would have normally had before. Um, so yeah, it's been great. Um, the College Sport Awards um, follows through these procedures, so part of this was to form a sport working group at the college. Um, so Jade and I are both members of the sport working group, and this ensures a collaborative approach when developing sport at the college. So there's members of staff on board, there's students on board, um, academic staff, people from the Students Association, Health and Safety, Estates, so this ensures that everyone who could be involved in running different events is on board and developing. So if we all got the same motives, then stuff gets done. So that's been really good. Uh, the College Sport Award ensures that our, the, college ha the students have a robust college experience. So it's not just about learning, it's about what they're doing outside of the coursework and then making new friends, doing new things that they wouldn't normally be involved with. And it's also offered, offered the opportunity for students to compete outside the college and visit other colleges. So it's just been um, opportunities for students that wouldn't have been in place before. The College Sport Awards also offered networking option, opportunities in Fife. So I've been speaking with um, governing bodies to develop sports that we don't have on campus and offering opportunities to students that we can't offer to them. So we've been working closely with Banton Scotland and uh, Basketball Scotland. So all these networks that our regional development officer, Ailey, she's kindly put us in touch with these people. And it's just been great having Ailey there as well as a support mechanism. So I don't think this would have been possible without Ailey at all, really. She's been so helpful. And yeah, it's all because of this award. <laughs> Yeah, I absolutely agree, Kirsten. Um, it's been great having Ailey on board. Um, it's just a little list there, kind of a breakdown of everyone that's been involved. So you did really well to explain that it's not just the kind of college sports department um, and the students association that have got together. You know, having the principal involved, having estates, they've been great because it means that we can work with them when it comes to booking rooms and making sure health and safety and everything's on board. So that's been really good. Um, that's just expanded now as well. So it includes our campus cycling officer, it includes local um, sports establishments, so like a couple of local clubs, um, Fife Sports and Leisure. Obviously, you've got Scottish Student Sport and, and governing bodies as well. But our, in the short kind of six months that Kirsten, you've been here, it, our, our contacts have grown massively. Um, local sports clubs, when they've been coming in to run taster sessions, they're actually giving students the opportunity to go and um, have a couple of taster sessions outside of the college. Um, so people are not only getting active inside, but also getting active outside. Um, and that's been really good as well. And the kind of, just the back and forth between different people. So yeah, it's been really good to have all of these people on board um, and we couldn't kind of do it without that collaborative approach really. Yeah, another thing to add that's not on the slide is we've actually been working with the active schools coordinators in the local community. So I put myself in touch with these guys and we actually had a tournament scheduled, but unfortunately it didn't go ahead because of coronavirus. But that would have been my two five college students association basketball teams and four teams from four of the local high schools. And this would have created like an opportunity for students in the high schools to see that actually we do have sport going on at the college, which would attract these students to come into the college and then shows them that there's stuff to get involved with because I think when people come up to college they just think oh yeah we're just going to get our qualifications so that we can go on to do an apprenticeship or go on to university whatever their motives might be but for them to see that actually oh if I go to college then there's sport opportunities is something that maybe isn't aware to them so creating these links with the 
schools is also something that we've been trying to do but unfortunately it didn't go ahead but when everything's back to normal then I'm sure the match will go on. <laughs> so some of the outcomes that we've achieved so far through the ward is we completed the first stage of this ward which is sometimes it's called working towards or training towards I'm not sure what one entirely but this is a photo here of us gaining our equipment kindly by Scottish Student Sport so when we get back to college, then I'm sure this will be used widely. The good thing about this is it's transportable amongst the campuses. So we were trying to think of equipment that would be inclusive to all students. So the botcher sets are great and badminton equipment. We can move it around the campuses because at Fife College, we've actually got five campuses. So it's quite difficult to ensure that opportunities are there for everyone because only one campus actually has um, sport facilities on site. So that's been quite a challenge, but we're getting there. Um, yes, yeah, so we've created collaboration with local sports clubs and governing bodies. We realised quite soon on that if we can't offer opportunities to students, then at least we can signpost them where they are. So when we can't actually run clubs, then we've been creating links with different sports clubs. So the students know where they can go outside of college and just making sure that we're actually aware of what students are doing because it might be that students are actually taking part in sport but we just don't know it and it's good to get the updates from Scottish Student Sport so we get updates of what events are going on from Jess so I can advertise these to students and if students for example take part in athletics obviously we don't have an athletics club in college but we're happy to pay for them to compete in these events and represent the college so that's something that's good as well as just seeing what's going on outside of Fife College and like Scottish student sport in general. So that's been an outcome. We've had people competing in the volleyball tournaments, athletic matches, football. We were in the college national finals before um, this all took place. <laughs> so we had football teams and basketball teams. So it was good to see guys competing because honestly, when I started the job, I didn't think that we would have teams competing so soon. So it's just been really good to go through the award and get all this up and running. Um, yeah, and another thing to point out is it's not just about competitive sport at Fife College. We like to think it's important to offer just recreational activities to students. So myself and Jade offer drop-in yoga sessions. We've done a taste session of that, and there's also table tennis um, in the refectory and the atrium. So that been really popular to students. I know Jade, you probably are in St. Bryson more than I am. You like the table tennis, don't you? Oh, I love it, honestly. Having the students come out and do it, it's really nice to see them engage in something that um, isn't necessarily competitive, but it's changed the whole dynamic of the relationships people have when they come into the refectory. Um, so one kind of group will go and play and it's, it's kind of gathered spectators and people that wouldn't normally meet are, are communicating with one another. So I think not only has it been great for a little bit of light physical activity at lunchtime, it's been really good for making communications and kind of breaking up the monotony of going from class to class, eat, and then, do you know what I mean? People are enjoying themselves a little bit more. And yeah. that's made the Yeah. Um, that's that's, and I'm really, really keen to take forward because um, I think it just helps students' mental states as well. Definitely. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're focusing on trying to up the recreational activities next year. And um, we've also been running sport uh, taster sessions and events at the college. So we had these five aside tournaments, which was actually through the help of one of the engineer lecturers. Um, and he knew all these students who apparently wanted football tournaments. And then we set up the first one and there was over 40 students there. So it's all about just connecting with staff who actually know what students want because we maybe wouldn't have known that before so having me in place was like someone that other staff could go to and say oh I've got a bunch of students that are interested in football so just having a point of contact at the college means there's someone there to actually figure out what people want and implement that so those five side tournaments were great so it's just been really useful just for people to know that the students association want to develop sport and there's people there um, that people can go to when they say they have an activity they want to do. So all these things have helped. Perfect, so um, with all the positives, there has been a few challenges. Um, 
Kirsten's done great in the first six months. I, I can't believe we've achieved the first mark so quickly. Um, initially, there was a few challenges with sort of forming established teams. Because we didn't have anything um, prior to Kirsten starting, that was kind of um, a struggle for people to understand what being in one of the five college sports teams meant. Um, luckily, we had a really good uptake with the basketball this year. Um, we had a good uptake with badminton and volleyball and a couple of other bits and bobs. But um, yeah, having to, trying to get people to come in when you didn't already have something to offer um, was quite challenging. So I think that will be easier next year um, to kind of continue those because we've got something to show. These are what our teams did last year. Let's grow that. Um, Building communication initially, again, when you come into a situation and you're trying to build sports teams and build these societies, you need to make sure that you've got the right contacts. And I think we've done really well with the sport working group, but initially you are scrambling to kind of get people who want to be involved. And, and we've ended up with a really good mix of people. Um, maintaining the student engagement um, in sports and physical activities. Again, that kind of goes back to, you know, we didn't have very much established beforehand. Now we do. So we've been really working really hard this year to make sure that even if nobody turns up, we are putting on, for example, the yoga sessions. I think the first one we did, I think we had one person turn up. But to keep offering them, we have more and more. And now we're looking at ways because of obviously everything that's going on, we're looking, okay, can we do this online? Is there a way that we can still have students engage even though we're not on campus? Um, with multiple campuses, it's it's you might have enough members for um, one team, but they're split across you know the four or five campuses that we've had, so that's been a little bit of a challenge. But we've made that work a little bit to our advantage, um, as and when we can. The five-a-side football team, because we of when we did that, we managed to get people from all campuses come over, and we had three pitches booked, so we had plenty of time to get away and um, to run that one and make sure that students could make their way there. Kirsten's done really well with organising travel to and from different kind of ladders competitions. Um, timetable and facility access. Um, initially, obviously the timetables are set out um, and the sports guys tend to have um, priority, if you like, over the, the gym at St Brycedown. Um, because of the relationships that we've formed now, I think that'll be much easier going forward. But initially trying to make sure that we could have, you know, the same slots every week. Um, was a, presented as a little bit of a challenge but we managed to work our way around it um, and then in the beginning there was a little bit of consistency when it came to the student uptake again once we kind of got into the swing of things because we were so determined and so persistent to make sure that we we had those slots booked even if one or two turned up you know for the first couple of weeks we we grew the momentum of it we used our social media platforms um, and to try and get some things there Obviously, travel to and from different competitions can be a little difficult, but um, again, we've been working to try and make sure that if we are managing to get onto these you know, ladders events and different competitions, we're, we're working as hard as we can to find a way to get the students there. Um, and we've looked at car shares, we've looked at you know, hiring out the minibus and doing different things. So there has been some, it's not been the easiest of rides, but we've definitely outdone ourselves I think in the last six months to try and make you know being consistent and and determined to make this happen and I think we can only grow from it it's all learning curves as well yeah thanks there's definitely a good like support mechanism at the college that we've got going on so there's always people that we can turn to and ask for help and we know that principal academic staff will be there to help us out and our the students association we've got a really good team as well so challenges are there to be overcome on they <laughs> Absolutely, and that is what we do well. <laughs> we never give up. <laughs> so some of the opportunities going forward. Um, obviously at Fife College, we want to continue working through the stages of the College Sport Awards. So we're currently working towards the bronze stage. Um, so I think with the award, there's not really a time frame as such because every institution is different, but some of the some stages of the awards is a straight tick and then other stages take longer. So it's just about, about figuring out where we're at at the moment. We're also working towards the Healthy Body, Healthy Mind Award, which Scottish and Sport have recently taken over as well. And these two awards kind of focus, come in line together with some aspects. Um, so it's all about improving 
opportunities for the students, developing extracurricular activities to improve health and wellbeing, um, ensure social inclusion, retention and attainment at the college, and just in general, positive energy and identity at the college. So both these awards have been really useful. Just, it's kind of good to have something to aim towards as well, to know, to know um, what other colleges and university have done and base it off that. So it's just a good framework to follow. Um, yeah, so I guess we want to just continue to develop sport clubs that we've created and make sure that um, when we get new students, because it's not like university where we're guaranteed the same students for four years, just to ensure that we're going to have that interest year in, year out. It's good mm -hmm. as well that um, we've started up these clubs, so create like relationships with the students so that we know, okay, well, these guys are really keen. They're coming back next year, so I can count on them to lead that basketball club again. So just to develop upon these students and see, see what the need is for the students, what they actually want to do. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to take these students to more competitions, uh, be, continue to be involved with the ladders tournaments. Um, and another thing I'd quite like to do is increase female uptake at the college, which is something that's, whilst females are interested, it's quite a um, environment where they might not feel comfortable. So just to try and make it more inclusive to everyone and ensure that the opportunities are equal to everyone. So that'll be something that Jade and I hopefully will work towards next year. Um, another opportunity is that we actually have a small gym on campus, but it's currently not accessible to students because I think there's been a long history it used to be. So part of the sport working group, we're trying to get that up and running for students again, which can create an opportunity where students, maybe on their lunch breaks, they can go and be, physical active, be physically active on campus, at hopefully a very small fee, which just makes it more inclusive to everyone. So that's something that our sport working group will be working towards next year. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just continue to collaborate with everyone at the college and external organisations to ensure that opportunities are there and getting developed con continually. Mm -hmm. And th another thing we're doing at the moment is we are um, trying, well, we're, the college are getting a new campus in Dunfermline. So myself and Ailey from Scottish Student Sport have been working with some other staff members and people from Sports Scotland to ensure that we're really thinking ahead of the game about what our sport facilities will look like at the campus. And it's good to have everyone involved with that process so that um, we are getting a voice in, in this as well, as well as Sport Scotland, so we can see what is actually, what do we need in Fife sport-wise and what will that look like? So it's really exciting to be involved in this process at such an early stage. And it's been great to have Scottish Student Sport there to help as well because they know what other colleges have done. I know Perth College just got a new facility as well. So it's great just to see like what works and what doesn't work. Um, yeah, I guess we want to just continue to offer a variety of sessions across campus, um, whether these are physical activity or wellness, because we know that not all students want to take part in sport and compete, but just to make sure that there's a wide opportunity available. Um, yeah. The cycling officers done good as well this year, having the lunchtime cycle rides. Um, and looking at setting up like a walking group and stuff as well. So it doesn't have to be, it's not always competitive. There's the recreational side. We've got the arcade basketball and um, doing the bike rides um, and the walks and stuff as well. So that's been really good. Yeah, and she's also been um, pushing for active travel as well, which mm -hmm. is something that's important at the college as well. So it's all just kind of all linking together and working together. But I guess we hope just to develop everything further and just continue to be involved with Scottish Student Sports, ensure that we're getting involved with competitions and just lots of different events across the college. I think that's about us. So that's just the get in touch piece. Yeah, so if you do have any questions, please feel free to send us a message and get in touch. Um, We'll be happy to answer anything and yeah, we hope to have a really productive next year. Yeah, all our stuff is available on our like Five College Students Association Facebook page and there's a sports page as well. So you'll be able to see what we're up to and follow and like those as well. Thanks for watching this Bite Size Best Practice webinar and a special thanks to Kirsten and Jade for their time and effort in what was a really insightful webinar. 
For any colleges wishing to learn more about the College Sport Award, feel free to get in touch with the Triple S Regional Development Team of Ailey Patterson, Megan Richardson or myself, Neil Rankin. We'll be back soon with another edition in the webinar series, but in the meantime, for any more information, head to our website or get in touch with one of our team at www.scottishstudentsport.com.